Here we have a quick overview of the facilities that we had at the Lakeview Fairgrounds. It was minimalistic to say the least, but it was quiet and we didn't have any noisy neighbors and it's time to go. Sunday morning, May 22. Squeaks here. Temperature says it's 15. It's not. It's probably more like 10. I think we're ready to go. Just have to find garbage. Well, garbage taken care of and out on the highway. When I pulled in here last night, I was a little concerned about diesel fuel because I didn't really know how far it was to the next stop and the first gas station that I came to, the one we're just passing now, did not have any diesel. But I found one just up the road that did have diesel, so now I have enough to get to Winnemucca. So I'm all okay. Here is the trip for today. Lakeview, Oregon to Winnemucca, Nevada. Still looking for the lake? Haven't seen it. The terrain on today's trip is quite a contrast. You go from kind of the shadow of the, the coastal mountains inland to the high desert and you go through quite a varied amount of terrain going through valleys and trees and then you, then you get up into the high desert. Right here we're going down through quite a steep valley and a rough road as well and then a little bit further on you come to one of the more spectacular places on the whole trip. I unfortunately did not take note of the elevation difference between the, the bottom and the summit but man going up this climb here it the camera does not do it justice. It's a lot steeper and the it's a lot further down on the on the passenger side of the vehicle and of course the road is narrow and there's no guardrails. It's uh, it would probably give some people a little bit of a concern coming up here. Some of the people I met coming the other way I was kind of wondering if uh, because they were in motorhomes and that, and they were just booginging along at probably 70 miles an hour, and uh, probably didn't realize what they they were going to come into going down this grade. But yeah, it was uh, it was very interesting. Well, imagine that coming into Nevada and not a casino in sight. Coming into Denio Junction here, it's the first place of civilization that we came into. Not very much here, but uh, it's a wide spot in the road and make a right-handed corner and off we go again further south towards Onamaka. Way back when, we had gone through here a couple of times and this was prior to the days of GPS when one could pinpoint your location exactly. So I'd just kind of written them in the log, you know, like 75 miles out of Winnemucca was one place that we stayed and another place was 31 miles out of Winnemucca. Well, I was looking for those spots and I never did find them. so. I guess maybe I'm a little bit more choosy. So I'd lost a bunch of video coming into Winnemucca. So that we'd gone through Winnemucca out the other side, coming into this, what really appeared to be a, a great place to stay. I was thinking super, we got trees, we got water here, and maybe we can stay a couple, a couple of days. And of course it was free, so the price was right as well. It was busy, and but I didn't manage to find a place right here 
back tin, got all set up, and then found out, well, there was a bit of a problem. You see, it's that time of the year, and those are poplar trees, and they're shedding the, the seed pods, and they're really sticky, and they get on everything, including your shoes and squeaks pads. So he was out for a walk, noticed a tap here, there's wine glass on the table, squeak wants in, hey, I had to pull the sticky things off his feet, and that's the last time he he went out. So that's, that's going to be our, our stay here one night. <laughs> 